Hello friends. Welcome to my new Angular JS tutorial series video. Today, we will learn about Angular JS directives. Friends. Angular JS directives are similar to attributes, which extend functionality of HTML. These directives start with a prefix ng. Some of the basic directives that will be focused in this tutorial are as follows. ng app, ng model, ng init, ng repeat, ng bind. Let's move ahead and see how directives works in AngularJS. In our previous tutorial we discussed about AngularJS expressions. For this tutorial, let's copy paste expression app html file into site root folder and rename it to directives in directives.html file let's code how directives can be used in angular js provide title to it as basic directives in angular js moving ahead let's discuss first about ng app directive the ng app directive initializes an Angular JS application. As it is applied over body element, it tells Angular JS that the body element is the owner of an Angular JS application. It means that Angular JS magic will be visible in the scope of body element. Suppose if we remove ng app directive and run the HTML file. You can see on browser that all the power of AngularJS has gone. It displays expressions as normal text, thus it treats AngularJS expression as normal curly braces. And if we provide ng app directive back to body element, you can see AngularJS evaluates expressions and displays evaluated result on browser. Here, AngularJS magic works over the scope of element it is applied to. That is, if it is applied to body element, it will be visible till end of element. Let's say we remove ng app directive and place it in div element. Upon running, it still print 45, as expressions are within div element scope. Let's copy div element and paste it below. And let's remove ng app directive from it. On the browser, you can see for first div element it has printed 45. But for the second div element it has printed Angular JS expressions as normal text. That is because ng app is applied over first div element. And its scope ends as soon as first div element ends. Thus, Second div element knows nothing about power of Angular JS framework. Let's move ahead and remove second div element and provide ng app directive to body element. After ng app, let's see how ng model directive works. In the div element, let's create a p element. Inside this p element, let's create a text field. having ng model directive with value as username. As we discussed in previous tutorial, in this case, ng model directive binds user input value to a model, represented by username variable. Just below p element. We provide username between two curly braces and that's it. Now if we go to browser, you can see a text field. As soon as, we type something into it, it displays the same content below it. Thus, whatever user entered in text field, it was assigned to username model by ng model directive. Let's move ahead and see working of ng bind directive. This directive binds application data to the HTML view. It works similarly as Angular JS expressions. Let's see how. Let's create a p element. And using ng bind, 
let's bind its inner HTML with the value user will be entering in text field. This works exactly as above AngularJS expression, where text field value is stored in username model, which is binded to inner HTML of P element. In browser if I type something in text field, it displays it below twice. One for AngularJS expression and other for inner HTML value of P element, binded by ng bind directive. Let's move ahead and see working of ng init directive. ng init directive is used to initialize application data for us. Let's create an array of cities into it. Cities variable will hold three cities such as Indoor Pune and Mumbai. These array of cities is been initialized by ng init directive. Now this array data can be utilized in the scope of ng init directive. Let's see it below through an Angular JS expression. Moving ahead. Let's suppose we want to display all the values in cities array. For that, we can use Angular JS directive by name, ng repeat. In order to see working of ng repeat directive, let's create a HTML UI list, which will display all the values in cities array. In the li element provide ng repeat directive. Here, ng repeat directive loops over HTML elements over which it is applied. Now suppose we want to print all cities in cities array. In ng repeat, we write, city in cities. Here, this syntax tells AngularJS that, for each city in cities, repeat li element. Also, city will act as a variable, that will hold city value in respective iteration. Thus, in li element, we provide an expression having city variable between curly braces. In browser it prints all cities in the form of list. Thus, ng repeat, repeats itself for three cities and prints it on browser, taking help of city variable. This was example based on array of strings. Let's see how ng repeat works with array of objects. In ng init, let's modify cities array to hold array of objects. The array of objects will have city along with states to which it belongs. Create array of objects as demonstrated. After creation of array of objects, let's use ng repeat to print city along with its state on browser. Here, we provide syntax as city with states in cities in ng repeat directive. Using city with states variable, we display city by dot operator. It displays cities on browser, what we saw before. Now in order to display states with cities, we concatenate city with states, through a comma, and using dot operator with state object. Thus, 
now it prints cities along with states, separated by comma. So friends, in this tutorial we saw few basic AngularJS directives. I will demonstrate many more in upcoming tutorials. So, go through this video two to three times so that, AngularJS directives, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.